availability of resources and an idea for the productive use of the available resources leads to development. As more and more development happens, more and more resources get used up. Let us understand this through a few examples. Increase in cultivation is an indicator of development. However, as cultivation increases, more and more resources like groundwater get used up. Increase in industrialization also indicates development. However, increase in the number of industries leads to increased use of natural resources like ores and minerals. Similarly, increase in the number of personal and commercial vehicles is also part of development. However, increase in the number of vehicles is leading to more demand for fuel and thus faster depletion of limited petroleum resources. The resources used for development may be renewable resources like groundwater or non-renewable resources like ores and minerals including petroleum. We have limited stocks of non-renewable resources that are lost forever once used. The charts here show the available stocks of crude oil and the number of years they will last at their present rate of usage. This brings us to the question, how will we continue with industrial and transport development when we have no minerals and petroleum left? Renewable resources like groundwater get replenished by nature over a period of time. However, if we use groundwater faster than what nature can restore, we run the risk of facing a scarcity of groundwater. Here are some worrisome facts about the overuse of groundwater in India, especially in the agricultural regions of Punjab, western Uttar Pradesh, and the coastal plains, and rapidly expanding urban areas. Did you know Groundwater makes up for more than 95% of all the unfrozen fresh water available on the earth. Thus, if groundwater becomes scarce, there will be a severe shortage of water for our personal, agricultural and industrial use. If development continues at its present pace, there may be a time in future when we may run out of resources leading to a situation where no more development will be possible. This is where the concept of sustainability of development comes in. Sustainability of development involves finding ways for continuous development without the risk of running out of resources or causing irreparable damage to the environment. Sustainability of development involves more efficient use of our existing resources exploration to find fresh reserves of resources and coming up with innovative ideas and technology to use new resources in place of conventional ones. Sustainability of development is now a global concern because the future of mankind in all regions of the world depends on it.